availability of cleaner, less expensive fuels and new, more efficient technologies has made power plant decommissioning an asset recovery solution for aging fossil fuel plants in the U.S. Transforming aging plants through retirement retrofit or replacement are options that must be considered by generating companies weighing the ability to provide safe, reliable power at competitive prices while still earning a return on investment. Each option brings a host of challenges. Hello, I'm Ed Malley and I run the Repower program at TRC for transforming aging generation sites through either retirement, retrofit, or replacement. Successful decommissioning projects ensure the safety of workers and the public, protect property, and account for cost, schedule, and quality control. At TRC, we've invested in the skill sets that our energy clients need to succeed, and we have over 12 years of experience at sites across the U.S. I want to share with you some of the key factors and lessons learned that will help make your project a success. At TRC, we develop playbooks to help you consider all aspects of a project before they become issues. It helps you outline plans, asset valuation approaches, real estate and future use plans, hazardous materials management processes, permitting requirements, structural issues, community relations, and environmental assessment needs. Planning ahead also includes conducting pre-demolition surveys to fill any data gaps and minimize your risk, establishing plans and specs to define technical, legal, and contractual requirements, developing a procurement strategy that addresses contractor qualifications and requests for bids, and drafting contractor work plans that are required prior to deconstruction work. There are various decommissioning approaches, and you'll want to choose whatever makes the most sense for your business. These include decommissioning and demolition by the owner, sale for reuse, or sale for scrap, and bankruptcy. When decommissioning a power plant, you are bound to have utility system modifications. You will have to address transmission reliability, cooling water intake and discharge structures, fire water systems, security and communication systems, and fuels. There are many methods to abate hazardous materials during deconstruction, and you'll want to consider what can be recycled versus what must be disposed. Asbestos, lead, PCBs, mercury, and universal waste will need to be decontaminated before any structural demolition begins. And thermal insulation, electrical gear, and building materials all pose abatement risks. What you want to do with the site after decommissioning will impact the level of environmental remediation required. Often, the goal is to achieve a flat level site that can be redeveloped. Phase one and phase two environmental site assessments will be needed and coal combustion residues will need to be addressed. Participating in brownfield cleanup programs is an option as is real estate valuation for highest and best use. These projects can be successfully completed and properties can be restored for beneficial reuse in their communities. I hope this gives you some idea of what you need to consider as you approach a power plant decommissioning project. You can learn more by checking out my blog post, our website, or contacting me directly.